The owners of the Mahogany Hotel located at Caribbean, Sharon Patterson and Carlos Angel, were charged with breach of restriction on social activity. They were having a private party on the evening of Tuesday last. Seven Venezuelans, three who reside at the hotel and one from number 78 village and three from Little Africa in Caribbean were also charged with the same offense. The three from Little Africa were additionally charged with breach of restriction to home. Meanwhile, 13 Guyanese were also slapped with a similar charge. One of them also lives at a hotel while the others are from the upper quarantine. After the charges were filed on Thursday at the Springlands Magistrates Court, the police were informed that Magistrate Alex Moore would not be available on Skype. Hence, the accused were released on $10,000 bail. They will have to return to court next Thursday. Reports are that the Springlands Police Station has been in collaboration with the Community Policing Group, CPG, and the Caribbean Municipality as it relates to providing information to the public on what is required during the curfew. They have been using mobile loudspeakers to inform persons about the regulations. Police officers have also been visiting congested areas like commercial banks and utility company outlets, advising persons of the need to keep the social distance as required. Caribbean's Mayor Winston Roberts, in an invited comment, said that some of non essential businesses are still not adhering to the regulations. Where the hotels are concerned, one evening I passed and I saw a crowd by in front of Reno and Mahogany. I went into the police, Sergeant Salmon did send call in the proprietors and had a discussion with them. Subsequently after, the crowd was dispersed. I must say at this point of time, Sergeant Salmon is doing a good job for us. Meanwhile, Prime Ministerial Regional Representative Gobin Harbajan weighing in on the issue said he supports the efforts by the police in the region by charging violators. Also I want to emphasize some of these pandit and priests is doing funeral services, prayer services for persons who died overseas in Guyana and that also attracts large gathering. So they, that needs to be more stop and the, the, the priests need to look at that the people's safety here and not for profit or money because we are talking about COVID-19 is a worldwide problem right now and people are dying. In Guyana we have the, key, the cases keep increasing. For the evening news, Andrew Carmichael.